Yo, what's happening guys? Quick Tip Tuesday. So today we're talking about five ways that you can adjust your audio levels. Audio is super important and we want to make sure we've got good levels because if nobody can hear you, it's no good. If nobody can hear you, it's no good, right? We got to be able to hear you. Got to have good audio. Let's jump in Resolve. Check this out. All right, we're in Resolve. Here we go. Tip number one, how you can adjust your audio levels. Click on your clip. Hover over it, and we've got this little line here. You can move up and down. You can drag it with your mouse. If you hold your shift key, it actually lets you be a little more precise with it. So that's kind of cool. That's one way that you can adjust your audio levels. The second way that you can adjust your levels, I'm going to go ahead and say it's kind of an automated way. And uh, maybe not the best, but it's good in a pinch and a good quick way to do it. Select your clip, right click. Come on down to normalize audio levels. It's going to bring up this little window, and you can set it to whatever you want. You can use either True Peak. Sample peak program, those are going to give you a good general, you know, audio level setting. Go ahead and hit normalize. Boom, there you go. You're going to be good to go. It should give you decent levels. Not going to be perfect, but that's just a quick and dirty way that you could do it. The third way we can adjust our audio levels. Select your clip, open your inspector, and right up here, audio, we've got our volume right here. Boom, we can bring it up and down, change it to whatever we want it to be. Fourth way we can edit our audio levels is to do it with the mixer. We open our mixer, we've got our fader here can move our fader up and down. Now that's gonna change the output levels of our track. So if I play through, maybe you could use some noise reduction here in Resolve. If you drop this way down, it's gonna drop our levels way down. Sure. The fifth way that you can adjust your audio levels is if you put an effect on there. A lot of effects have a gain function in them. For example, if I got the multiband compressor and I drop it on my clip, brings up the multiband compressor, I can go ahead and make my changes. And then over here, it's got a gain setting and that's gonna boost our audio levels. Sometimes when you run your audio through an effect and it comes out of the effect, you kind of lose a little bit of your audio level. So you wanna boost it back up a little bit. But if you're just trying to get some extra levels in there, pretty much apply most of the effects, they're gonna have a gain knob in there so you can boost all that audio up a little bit. So that's the fifth way. Now I do have a bonus way to do it for you, the sixth way. Now the ways that we talked about can be done either in the edit tab or in Fairlight, it doesn't matter. You can do it in either spot. But but for this next one, we have to jump into Fairlight, and this is going to be a way that I adjust my levels all the time. Check it out. Jump it back into Resolve, so let's get into Fairlight, hit the musical notes at the bottom. The sixth way here is using your dynamics. So in your dynamics, you're going to want to turn on your compressor, and we have this slider right here that lights up. It's called the Makeup. So this is gonna allow us to boost our levels up a little bit. So the compressor is gonna compress some of our uh, higher, uh, louder things in our audio clip, and that makeup is gonna help bring up the quieter parts. So between the two, you kind of balance it out and uh, you know try and get some smooth, good sound in audio, so that if I talk a little bit quieter like this, or if I'm talking louder like this, it should be around the same volume. So using the makeup slider here is gonna help you adjust your audio levels, and it's something that I use all the time. So that's it, guys. That is six ways. Give you the little bonus there on how you can adjust your audio levels. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're interested in any EQ presets, I do have some on my Shopify store. You can check that out. Link in the description below. All right, guys, with that said, I look forward to seeing you in the next Quick Tip Tuesday. Peace.